Hey everyone, JT here, back with another video. As you can tell, I'm not in my usual surroundings. Today, I'm in a hotel in London, so apologies for the very yellow lighting. Um, there's very little I can do about that, I'm afraid. A few of you reached out to ask about my north-facing solar panels. So, as most of you know, we have two systems in our house. We have the main system that runs the entire house, and we have our fence-mounted solar panels. So today, we're not talking about the fence-mounted panels, we're talking about the panels that run the entire house. Our panels are set into three groups. There are four on the garage roof, there are 10 on the rear-facing roof, and there are eight on the front-facing roof. Now, the front-facing roof is north-northeast facing. And the common wisdom is don't waste your money putting panels on a north-facing roof because they won't generate any power. Well, today, I'm hopefully going to bust that myth for you. When we set up our system, we basically covered all the available roof space that we had. Um, I would have loved to get 10 on the front of the house, but there's an, unfortunately a nice sort of architectural feature on there that gets in the way, uh, which means that we were limited to eight panels. They're 435 watt panels. Now, you would think, certainly as we go into the latter part of the year, those those panels are not going to generate anywhere near as much as the panels on the rear side of the roof. And you're absolutely right. But what they help do is time shift when we start generating. So you'll see in a moment, I'm going to bring up an animation that shows each panel. Uh, it's actually going to take a, a day from about six o'clock in the morning through to about four o'clock in the afternoon. And you'll see that those north northeast facing panels start to generate about two and a half hours before the panels on the south southwest or the south southeast part of the roofs. This means we get about a two and a half hour head start on our generation compared to just having an exclusively south facing pat set of panels. So let's play the animation. Now, what I'll do is I'll fast forward it until we get to about 6 30 in the morning. You'll see the panels on the right hand side of the image, those are on the north northeast facing roof. Is it north northeast or east northeast? the north facing side of the roof, those panels start generating at about 6.30 in the morning. And they will continue to generate and they will build up a couple of kilowatts of power before the panels on the south side even start to generate anything in the morning. As we go through to about 10.30, you'll notice the ones on the garage roof, they, the sun starts to clear the edge of the house, they start to come alive, and then as we get into the middle part of the day, the main array on the rear, race, rear facing roof comes alive. Now, as we get to about 2.33 in the afternoon, we start to see the panels on the front of the house start to drop off, and by about four o'clock, they're pretty much done for the day. But what this means is we're expanding the time that we're generating power. So we're not waiting till 10.30 in the morning on a sunny September day to generate any power. We're able to start generating a lot earlier. Now, if we'd have gone back a couple of months, back into June, July timeframe, when we were at the height of the summer, those panels start generating at about 4.30 in the morning. Sun comes up way over at that part of the, uh, the, of the horizon, and at about 4.30 in the morning, as well as beaming in through my bedroom window, um, it starts generating. So we get a really long generation day by having the north-facing panels combined with the south-facing panels. Now, would I install panels if I only had a north-facing roof? Probably not. The reason is, is that the amount of power that they will generate on their own is going to make the payback of that system uh, difficult, not impossible, depending on the, the number that you've got, but would make it very difficult to justify it. If you're interested in ROI, I'll put a link in the description below to a video that I put out last week where I talked about the different types of ROI. One last thing to consider here. Certainly here in the UK, um, your mileage is going to vary. If you live in the south part of the country or in the eastern part of the country where I do, um, you're probably going to see statistically more sunny days than somebody who lives in the north of Scotland. And again, you need to take that into account when you're considering whether north facing panels are going to work for you. Here in the east, we get some lovely sunny mornings. Um, the, the weather seems to be a little bit better than it maybe is on the western side of the country. And we're far enough south to get enough generation hours as we go through the summer to make them well worthwhile. So, north-facing panels, certainly in, in my area and for, for my situation, well worth it. 
They extend my generation day by two to three hours uh, most of the year and in the summer it probably gives us an extra four to five hours of generation before the main array starts to come to life. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please do give us a like and a subscribe. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.